hi guys welcome to my channel my name is jenny so guys um it's today's video is about um what is currently happening at only of ife palace right now if you don't know only of ife only of ife is a very famous traditional ruler in yoruba land in ife land precisely so and the young lady you are seen with the mother the young lady that wears red bead is the wife naomi so guys the information reaching us in our headquarter <laughs> is that um only of ife pursued naomi mother from the palace it's not really pursue pursue or like pushing her out to go no he asks her to leave that she has overstayed her welcome like i'm not surprised i'm not even sad about it i'm i'm a kind of consigned let me just analyze what i meant fine they said since naomi got married got pregnant that this woman basically have been living in the palace that she doesn't give um, her daughter a breathing space to like a kind of be free and enjoy her marriage guys if you know if there are some things you would want to do even if an adult if your parents or one of your parents is there they will be controlling you 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 like to like follow up whatever they are saying right so this is the case of naomi and the mother they said practically is the mother that is telling her what to do and what not to do i don't really believe that but i know sometimes your parents will tell you something because of that respect you have for your parents you like to adhere to what they are saying even if sometimes it's wrong you understand so they said naomi's mother has been in the palace since 19 we get them that she refused to leave if if you watch video of naomi during her birthday you see her mother is always at the forefront like a kind of she's the one doing the birthday and i saw in the comment section in that birthday vlog where everybody was just lamenting her mother should allow this girl to be or something but what i'm practically saying is as a mother she's still young she's very very young and beautiful i, I think maybe she don't have washed i don't know i don't know how to put it she don't have any business she does not work or something because if she's working see the woman she's a very beautiful woman i think she or she doesn't have a husband i don't know much about the the husband part but what i'm saying is she should give her daughter a breathing space but finally the only of if he has done the best thing to do at least she let's assume that it was omoga that she came for fine Omogo has finished, let her go, but she's still in the palace. And the funny thing about it, she like doing um, a jima, or she like twinning with her daughter. I know it's very good, but this young lady is an olori. She, she's a queen. She deserves some, I don't know how to put it so that people will not be offended. But what I'm trying to say is, yeah, it's good for you to carry your mother and stay in your house, right? Yeah, sometimes your mother comes and go. But in a situation whereby your mother does not have where to go or your mother is sick or something. Yeah, people will understand that maybe the mother is sick or the mother does not have somewhere to go. But this, this her mother is very, very young and energetic she's she's still young and strong you understand but i think she's people are saying she's just like um i don't know how to put it i don't want people to get mad at me i'm just minding the kind of words i'm going to use on this video but what i'm saying is um this is the right decision of the king let the mother go so that this um young lady will have a breathing space like in every occasion that is happening in Oni or Fifi house, you see the mother. Even if um, they don't want her to come and talk, she will carry the mic and start talking and talking and talking. If, they, if there is anything happening in the palace, you will see her. She will be in the front as if she's the wife's king. Um, she's Sorry, as if she's the wife, um, she's the king's wife. You understand but anyway sha is the joy of a mother sha like if your daughter is a queen you like to like enjoy with her but not in this aspect her own is too much let her just give the daughter a breathing space even i heard that even the sisters are staying in the palace too but sometimes the sisters will move out and come back but 
practically the mother is the mother have been living inside that palace so i'm not judging on only of ife this is your um mother-in-law right so um, they can find her a place they can rent a house for her give her she can be visiting once in a while not living inside the palace with the king and the wife no it's a kind of she's causing nuisance right i'm not sure i'm just saying my mind i'm just analyzing how i feel me i would like to be seeing my mother always but not that your mother will come and live with you not that your mother is sick or not that your mother does not have anywhere to go if he's in a situation whereby the mother don't have anywhere to go or the mother is sick yeah it's understandable or the mother will just come and stay like six months one year and go uh you understand it's understandable or maybe it is had it been in someone that is in abroad that needed the mother so bad it's still different but not that this one is there controlling them that's what i had i'm not there i'm not sure i'm just i'm just this one now is what i had i'm not sure but the previous videos of her that i've watched she's always like coming in the front like before her daughter i don't know what it means she's a happy person the wife is beautiful mm. the mother is beautiful and a lot of yoruba people are complaining that let her go joe let her go but me i like to stay with my mother right then but in a respectful way she, you can come for holiday you stay and go back then you come back again is the respect will be there not that you carry all your kaya you carry all your bags and you relocate to the palace staying with your daughter it's not as if that the daughter needs a maid or something they have a lot of servants in that palace in that palace english is hard so practically what i'm trying to say is let her just go she can be coming every six months to see them or every three months or even once in a month they are in the same state right she can just come visit her daughter stay a few days and go back to her go back to her house she can come omugo and stay but now no omugo is happening nothing nothing and she's always in the palace you know but i don't know but i think this is the right way to do so that she will have her own respect so that her daughter will have her own respect to to be in her husband's house um this picture here is when the the daughter did birthday she just boom come out and was talking and people were just murmuring and a lot of people were saying ah uh ah -uh, leave olori to enjoy her marriage and leave her now must you come out every time to talk you know all those kind of thing well anyway she is her mother she's beautiful look at her very beautiful and young if she does not have maybe i don't know maybe she don't they don't have husband again or something i don't know but yeah so what do you think i do think the king did the right thing to like tell her to take a walk do you think the king did the right thing by telling her to leave do you think um she has the right to live in her daughter's house as as you understand do you think she has the right to live permanently with permanently with her daughter or do you think is is nice if she comes and goes or if he's doing omogo she can come omogo and go what do you think drop your thoughts on the comment section i am not here to bash anybody i'm just analyzing what how i how i feel about this situation thank you so much guys for watching and i will see you guys in my next video